before it. It's time to build some arrows, buddy. Who's gardening? Me. I have a lot of side hobbies. Yeah, this is a little boat desk here. What do you think? Looks good. Is yeah. this the vice? Yeah, look at this. This is a Rock Bros bike vice, and it holds my bow nice and steady. Nice and level. So, yep. That's sweet. All right, what are we doing today? I'm building some arrows. Extensive arrow build. This is our haul. Show them, show them people what you got. A little smoke in the bottle. Smoke in the bottle. Max Hunters. We also got Max Stealths and Sabres too, but I think we're doing these for this build. Some gold tip, 125 grain. Got some cool flex. Cool flex. Some cool mount, hot mount. Yep. What? This is the setup we got here. This is my bow. 31 and a half VXR with tap bars, fast eddy. Matt's got the uh, V3, 31, Fast Eddy, Matthew Stabilizer. That's it. What do you have? And Tight Spot. Both have Tight Spots. Got a titanium spoon, some more platinum glue, some half outs. And then look at this, boys. Iron wheels. We got a collar, too, and we got a predicament we want to show y'all because we've been, we didn't think it'd work. We'll see. We're going to we'll have to see. look at it. All right, we got a dozen. What do we got? Arrows. A dozen BAP TKO 300 spine. Oh, Look at those beauties. Beauties. So Matt's only building six. And I was asking what he's going to do with the others. And he said they're just going to sit there for now. And I was like, well, that's unfortunate. Can't just let them sit. So now I'm going to. So I'm going to buy these off when we're going to build, build a dozen. Thing. You can't just let them sit, you know. They're they're meant to fly, so it wouldn't be nice. Before we weigh them, we gotta cut them first. So we're gonna cut our arrows, measure them, cut them, and then um, then we'll weigh them and see see where they're yeah. at. All right, I'm just gonna do a rough, and then we can kind of. That's good. That's right up against the launcher. All right, just double checking. Once again, just to make sure so we don't come too short. Pull back as hard as you can. Oh. What is that? Travel there. I don't know. 28 is the final length. Just a little bit more, just in case something changes to put twist in there. By the way, look at this hat. I just got this hat, this Colleen. Rocking the iron wheels this year. Iron wheels. Oh yeah, we gotta show them the, show them the iron wheels. Right, now we're just going to clean out the interior just with a little rubbing alcohol. Um, just trying to get all the carbon out. Look at those beauties, man. Mm. I don't know what it is. I just love, I don't like colors, but I love neon yellow. If I had to pick color, neon yellow just looks so good. And white, too. But Neon yellow is going to look good. Gosh, neon yellow and white, man. So I got neon yellow D-loop there. That's my only accent color, and I guess the spot all green. But when I get new strings, I think I'm gonna get the gas strings. It's gonna be white and neon. It's a, lot, a little bit louder, but everything else black or whatever. Just working through, getting them all clean. And then we'll go through and weigh them. All right, now we're just taking weights on the arrows and then we'll take weights on the inserts. Two hundred and seventy grains. Number one. Two 
270.6. So far we're 270.6, 271 even, 270.6. Two seventy point six. Two seventy point six. Yeah. It's a little lighter, two seventy point two. That. All right, we got the Easton four millimeter half out titanium, um, little half out insert. Pretty good looking and insert. We thought originally I thought I wanted to go with a iron wheel collar with this setup. You slip the collar on, so that's what it looked like if you just installed a hit insert in. Um, but you throw this on, and then it just kind of looks stupid. And I don't know what that would do as far as... <laughs> it does look so stupid. If it was going through an animal or into um, your target or whatever, the force would be going against mm -hmm. that little ridge. That little whip, yeah. And so I don't know what that would do. It would probably be minimal, but it, just it also looks just looks stupid. stupid. So <laughs> I like the structural integrity that it added to the end of the arrow. But I'm just gonna rock with the half out. Yeah, that looks a lot better too. That. And it's clean. Yeah. So that's what we're rocking with. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go. Ahead. And that's um, 55 grains, right? It's a 50 grain, 55 grain insert. Um, and so we're gonna go through and weigh all of them, make sure, see how true they are, and then get them in the arrow. So far, these are pretty consistent. Two are 55.4 and two of them are 55.2. So now we're gonna take the, kind of try to get them as close in weight as we can. So take the heaviest insert and put it with the lightest arrow and try to get them all as close as possible as we can so they all fly true. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll put like the 55.2 on the, um, 270.2 arrow just so that they try we try to true it out as much as we can all right so what are we doing for getting our components in so now we're going to go use some some cool melt some low temp hot melt um so we're going to try this out this is the first time we're trying a hot melt mm -hmm. um, in you the past we've used like the super glue pull type. that pull that pink cap out that's what we usually use <laughs> what we usually use just like the basic cyanaculate whatever glue cures pretty fast but the hot melt now we can change components because we're kind of tinkering more so we think it'd be good but this is our first time so we're giving it a try So with these carbon arrows, you want to use your fingers the whole time because you don't want to be heating it up hot enough that you can't you can't use your fingers here. You're, you're getting the carbon too hot. We were supposed to use a heat gun, but we didn't, we have one. We just don't know where it is, so we just we're just using a torch. So we had to stay away from the flame a little bit, but that worked pretty good, huh? It worked pretty. Yeah, it went. It was pretty good. It had a pretty low temp. Yeah, it melted quick and it, it cures quick. Yeah, this is solid now. So I just waited for him to cool, and then um, I'll just pull this off like a, there we go, I'll just pull it off like a little over a rubber band, it'll just come right off. Those look really clean.
Tex is watching the build. Tex. There we go. How you doing, buddy? Half ounce in. That looks pretty good. Looks like clean. Pretty clean. All right, now we're just making sure the knocks are lining up. There's the, with these vaps, they have the little spine alignment. So we just want to make sure they're lining up. And we'll have that facing upwards um, for the cock vein. The cock vein. <laughs> these are looking pretty good. All right, now we're getting on to fletching the arrow. And so I was going to talk a little bit about which vein I picked and why. And so I looked at, first I was looking at the Max Stealths and the Sabres. And I really like the Max Stealth. It's a little quieter. Um, and the Stealths. But I, I landed on the Max Hunter just because I think it's going to steer the broadhead. I'm using a fixed blade this year. Ooh, so I'm going to be rocking with the thing. iron wheel, uh, single bevel to the left. And so I think I want something that's going to be able to steer this big chunk of metal up in the front. Yeah. And so I think the Max Hunter is going to be the best at that. Mm -hmm. um, this is what the stealths look like. That's what the left helical. This is what the sabers look like, Max helical. And are you going to... You're doing helical or straight? I'm going max set. helical. Uh, get nice. them really spinning. That's something cool about these broadheads that that single bevel, in theory, it should continue to to spin and cause more damage throughout the animal. So I'm gonna really try to get those arrows spinning. It's a corkscrew. That's a cool box too. So the iron wheel comes in. It's a nice little box. If you don't buy them in six by three, you get a little box. There we That's go. cool. Single box, but yeah. All right, so we got the our arrows. We're about to put some fletchings on. Um, got some arrow wipes. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go ahead and start by just cleaning them off. Nice clean surface. And those are the the wipes, and then the AE primer pin and the AE Max Bond is what we're using. And then that, what is that jig there, Matt? We got the Arizona Easy Fletch. Mm-hmm. Max Max helical. To the left. To the left. And most Arbos, both of them, they clock to the left with the Matthews. Mm -hmm. So I just tapped this primer pin just to make sure it's flowing good. And then, so I've got my, on here, this is where we'll put the cock vein on the lighter colored. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. And then we've got it aligned where the base of that, the base of the vein is gonna be aligned with the, the spine alignment. And then we'll throw these other two in there. All right, so we got all the, we got them all primed and then we'll go in with the max bond. You're just doing three dots, top, middle, bottom, and then kind of smearing them through and even. And it's better to have more glue than not too many because you can always, not too much, because you can always um, wipe off the excess. You want to make sure they're sticking. You don't want to make sure they bond really well. Then we're going to make sure that they're pushed all the way down. Just one more time seated in there really well. So we got her closed up and then in a second here once that that uh, max bond uh, cures up we'll pull it off. How long do you want to wait? Probably about 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm impatient. I was like, put them in there. Put like them in there. 20 and then rip them out. We only have one, too. If you have a bunch of these, you can, like a couple of them, you can fletch a bunch of arrows yeah. really quickly. This bits and burger here takes forever. But this is, it goes pretty quick. All right. So pull that piece off. And 
we'll just wipe that excess glue off. Grand reveal. There we got our arrow. That is a good looking twig right there. Mmm. That looks good, doesn't it? And everything's looks lined good. up. It, there's an um, easy fletch, put them perfectly in line there. Awesome. Arrow number two going in good. Gosh, look at that dart. That is a beautiful arrow right there. I almost like that better than the stealths. That just looks good. Yeah, that those is max hunters look sweet. And they're gonna steer that broadhead great. That one cure, and while we're doing that, um, we're just gonna tip the front of each vein. Some oh, she's I squeak. Yeah, sorry, guys. So now we got the platinum glue, the boning platinum, and we're just gonna put it on the tips of the arrows here. And it's a little, it's a rubberized glue, so there's a bubble on the end. Yeah, it dries like it doesn't really dry Ooh, completely hard. Oh, big dot. <laughs> here, she's let's try this again. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. The boning platinum, uh, it's a rubberized glue, and so we're just gonna put it on the tips, mm -hmm. um, just to hold those veins in place. Yeah, and it dry it doesn't dry super hard. It's still kind of rubbery. It helps those veins not come peeling off and shoot them in targets. A lot of guys will put them on the tips and butts. That's perfect. But we are just tip guys over here. It's just a tip. Not too much. No, that's perfect. It shrinks down a little bit. Put your hand on there so you can focus. Yeah, that's good. I do too. I think that looks really good. All right, final product. Look at those absolute lawn darts. Gosh, what do you think? They're looking sweet. And I'm gonna throw a 125 grain head up front. It's just a feel point for now. Mm -hmm. That, that looks is beautiful. Sweet. Put it on the scale, see what we got them for weight. So then we're weighing in at, move this stuff. While that scale is zeroing out. With this Arizona Easy Fletch, all that glue and just everything, all the gunk down in there, we'll just put the face down in some alcohol, let it soak, and then, all right, let's see what my arrow's weigh in. Four seventy-four point six. Four seventy-four point six, and we calculated out on the FOC calculator. And it's around 16 and a half percent roughly we didn't do the measurements yet but roughly yeah we're trying to get over that 15 percent threshold um yeah this is gonna fly four seventy six for six and then 474.6 16 and a half foc 20 28 inch arrow um so max hunters 55 grain insert 125 grain head and your draw length is 30 inches, right? 30 inch draw length. 30 inch draw length. And then so, yeah. the broadhead I'll be running is the 125 grain iron well, single bevel. Look at that beauty. Gosh, that is an absolute. That's an elk killing machine right there. Yeah, put it on the table. Let's do a close up of this thing. That looks good. And then coming down, boom. I guess all that's left is a spin tester. Oh yeah, she's spinning. Oh yes. Glass. Money. Beautiful, beautiful. 
good looking arrow right so that's there. the elk rig that's the elk twig that's the twig he's gonna be shooting and mine's gonna look identical to that the only thing that's gonna be different is uh length i might be a little bit longer or a little shorter so this is the other arrow i've got here is with the max stealths with the vap insert which i don't really like anymore i thought they were cool but they're just weak and they bend so i'm gonna do the half outs and that's what i've been rocking with and so i'll still shoot these but i think for the elk trip the twigs i'm gonna be running are the same thing here and the only difference is if i don't end up getting the iron wheels i will be rocking just a grim reaper micro hades three blade and these are 100 grain i'm gonna get 125 grain get a little heavier arrow so so yeah same specs just maybe a different point on the end of the twig so look at that time to get him in the quiver and get after that target yeah it's time to get him in the target none of this matters if we're not out there practicing that is true that's very true it is fun though what the guy say building arrows is the most fun you can have with your clothes on that's right beautiful all quivered up in their homes. Those look sweet. What do they do? This wraps. Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> All right, this wraps up the arrow build. Uh, we're just out here hitting the target now and had yeah, a great so time. Go over the specs, the complete specs. We were, gosh, what was the total weight? 474. 474.6. 6. FOC was somewhere between about 15 and 16. Yeah. Um, we're getting the calculations there. 125 grain broadhead um, or field tip right now. Um, mm -hmm. We got the Easton half out 55 grains. That's titanium. 300 spine VAP TKO. Max Hunters. We got a yellow cock vein on there. Mm -hmm. Love and the yellow cock vein and the AE IP4 knock. There we go. Which comes standard with the with the VAPs, VAP TKOs. Beautiful, beautiful build. Now we're going to launch one down range. That yeah, looks so smooth. Boom! Perfect! I was aiming right there. Yeah. It's just long left. That's exactly what it was there. Guess what you can do, but yeah, that's, that's a good little uh, shot there. You go into the wood? Oh, no. 